So I was off looking for this shitter with the elixir since I spawned back here when I died anyway. There is a bone charm up here. Let's give that a quick visit, why don't we? Up we go. So this is cool because finding it this way also reveals an alternate way of getting around the environment. But this is an alternate way to get up where they're dumping the bodies behind that door over there. That guy's probably dead. One more bone charm added to the collection. The death, uh, death in the month of songs. It's all a bit. Let's see. She was shy in the month of hearts, hiding from my scentless, uh, scented letters. A sun uh, dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree. A dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to her sailor cousin from Colorado. A shrill bur bird uh, drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of song, struck by disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. And then he's dead. So not really going well for anyone involved here, but hey, I got a bone charm. Didn't really find the elixir shitter situation, but found something. Can I use this or something? Is that just a weight? Actually, I think it's a harpoon. I think this might be a harpoon gun with the chain hanging off. I'm not really sure. It's about as foreign as things can get to me to have a, a whaling town be the setting. Alright. There's my quick travel between those two. My, uh, not quick travel, quick switch between my teleport and my heart. Everything else is going to be a distance away though, so let's get back to where I left off. I think we might actually find something near where I was. So this appears to be right where I fell and died earlier, actually. It's off that bridge. And hey, there's a rune nearby. Let's see if I can find that. Everyone here doesn't seem to give a shit about me. I think they're just people? That person probably would go after me. I think that's a bad guy up there. I need to get in there. So that's probably where I'm trying to go. I can feel a great age ending. Oh. That was kind of an accident. Where is she? She doesn't seem very nice. Unless she's talking about actual little birdies, but it seems like she told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. She sounds like she might be rocking a dead person and going full crazy on me. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. I don't think she's the government. <laughs> I think she's just a crazy person this time. Mm, if I was a birdie, I'd want to eat that. Yes, I would indeed. Huh. Spooky. How do we get around in here? Okay. Get a few objects. Don't know if I want to go through their urns. Might be Granny. Piero Spiritual Remedy, nice. More a war medal. I'm, I'm taking people's war medals and selling them. Yay! Let's just commit to being kind of garbage, maybe. Hey, rat. How you doing? Alright, that's... That's a more convincing animation from a distance, I'd say. Let's see, so it's through the wall. They are burning whales. Oh. Well. I mean, it's, well, are, we are using whale oil, so that's kind of a straightforward conclusion, I suppose. How do I get there? I told you the we, uh, we need our front door key. Is she staying still now? Or is she gonna freak out when I approach her? Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Um, I can just talk to her? I was gonna pickpocket the key, but pickpocket doesn't seem to be an option. I, th I think it was square before. I told you the knives go on the left. Let's put away the heart before they I talk to her. Dear? 
Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well. They'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Oh. Gave me the key, but it's it's gotta be the government guys again. Granny, 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 come out. That's gotta be where the ritual that's gotta be where the ruin is. Uh, the ruin, I mean. Let us in, Granny! I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. Oh. Well, aren't you a bunch of scumbags? Let's get let's go get sneaky then. Let's go get sneaky and also let's put a save in. Because I have learned that these manual saves are the only things that you load. So if I uh She's been digging for 80 years. When I died, I'd just start the whole place over. Here's there we the go. Whatever you got, slack jaw gets a cut. Nothing. You you <laughs> Somebody, get over here. Don't mind me. What happened? Whoa, oh, crazy. How are you gonna do that from up there from over there? That seems awful we difficult. Oh, did I miss? That's awkward. Gotcha. Ta-da! Now I can even use the door while I want. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's grab their stuff. Thank you. We're gonna want to put you guys away somewhere. Um... This whole place is kind of in the open, to be honest. Eh. That's a nice enough corner for you guys. Might have been a waste of sleep darts, especially when I missed, but we'll see. It appears that if I go back to town, I can just buy more of them anyway. So, I think I can make that work? Or I'll just have to be extra scavengy. Either way, I like the idea of taking control of my opportunity at that angle. Oh, God damn it! Wait, are there, are there a lot of rats around here to kill them? That'd be bad. Could dump them up top. Yeah. I've been warned that if I leave them on the ground, they might get killed by rats. If there are enough rats in the area. And that that counts as me killing them. Or it counts towards the kill element of the game, at least. Whether or not it's applied to me, it still applies to the total kills. Y'all should be nice and safe right up here. Are those sleep darts, by the way? Yes, they are. Hey, that pretty much makes up for what I did. And now I just took somebody's food, so they're gonna starve. LOL. I'm a monster. It's funny, because people are going to slowly starve to death. Yay. Come with me. I feel so slow right now. There's just gonna be three thugs just weirdly stacked up on top of a bunch of whiskey barrels. That was some live sentence editing right there. I was about to say wine barrels, but then it literally, the word whiskey came into frame, and I'm like, oh, okay. Saved me from one. Can't grab that? Not loot? Okay. Here we go. I have access to your front door now. The knives go on the left. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. 
Interesting. Can I open you up? I think the little birdies are sad today. This is where, the, yeah, this is where the ruin is, in the weird dead end, <laughs> weird purple hallway. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Well. Well. So the, the hunting for runes looks like it might be a series of side quests, basically. And they hide a collectible behind some area and maybe you have to do a side quest to get there. And that seems like a really interesting way to handle oh, no. the stuff. That's not a nice thing. Just garbage. It actually f garbage, ends up garbage. fitting into a pretty similar territory to how uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution was working, where I'd be at a specific location to do a specific mission, but then I'd get like a whole bunch of side quests along the way that I could go for. What are you? Another one. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Wow. This is a neat little thing to just find in, in the corner of the screen. You like, go or they you, won't come. you can just wander right by and never even see this spot, but it seems to be a source of three runes. That's kind of a big deal. So definitely want to be as thorough as we can in exploring at the, the, all these levels as we go around. Or at least pop out this heart and see what things we can find along the way, on our way to these, these waypoints. That'll be a start. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so we have a whole lot of bone charms to, fence, to go through here. Uh, scavenger, find ammo in larger amounts. Fencer, win sword for sword contest more frequent. Let's go ahead and activate that real quick, by the way. They just they go on and off, right? Yeah. So I have seven slots. Scavenger's pretty good. Uh, so, win sword for sword contest more frequently. Damage from explosives reduced slightly. Uh, shot whiskey bottles explode with greater intensity. That's very specific. Power effects slightly improved, okay. Uh, white rats can be consumed for mana? That's horrifying. Let's do it. White rats won't attack you. Okay. Breath capacity in water increases slightly. Moderate keyhole peeping magnification. <laughs> <laughs> that sentence is fascinating. Breaking glass is sound is moderately reduced. Drop assassination gives you a bit of health. Swim speed increased slightly. Enemies more uh, miss more often with arrows and bolts. Yes. Make them miss more often. Sure. Let's go for faster swimming. Uh, that'll help with stealth. The gla any sort of glass amount. Uh, I do like the idea of I do like the idea of Voyeur, though. We'll see if that helps out. Alright. I had not checked that menu yet. Uh, we currently have three runes, so I can either... Increase the distance of Blink. We can go into Dark Vision to... See in the, let's see, right now it's... Uh, see in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision, representations of the sounds that 
Uh, you make her also visible. The next level is see in the dark. Let's see. Seize full objects and security systems through walls as well. That's an. There we go. We have a lot of other options, don't we? Vitality, increased health. Uh, bloodthirsty, build up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Jump height increased and falling damage reduced with agility. I know where enemies don't see you uh, turn to ash as they die. Oh, kill somebody. So if you kill somebody who never sees you, then they just turn into ash and disappear. Assuming you're killing them, of course. And then you level up again and just everybody turns to ash when they die and you never leave bodies behind if you're killing people. Powerful wind that can push back or knock down enemies or shatter doors. Wind blast. Devouring swarm summons a swarm of rats that will attack others then disperse after a short duration. The swarm has also consumed corpses. A lot of anti-corpse things. Bend time slows time for a short duration. Completely stops time for a shorter duration. You move normally. Jeez. That'd be a hell of a time advantage right there. Possession. Allows control of animal targets for a short duration. Allows control of human targets for a shorter duration. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the blink upgrade. Mobility seems like a big deal in this game. Here we go. What do we map to? That that's bullets, right? Not in a big deal. For, not in a big hurry for bullets. Let's map dark dark vision over that. So now I've got those are sleeping darts, right? There we go. So sleeping darts, teleports, heart, then dark vision, which I have to activate. And it, I guess it lasts for a set amount of time. Then you can turn off when you, when you want to. Okay, so she wants us to poison stuff. We also have exploration to do still. We do have a rune waiting off in the distance. I just customized stuff, so might as well pop a save real quick, too. Let's see. Take an alternate path. How far does it go now? Pretty far. We have a rune waiting off in the distance there. There's the wall of light they want me to bypass. I'm not in a big hurry about that, but that bone charm's interesting. Where is this place? Oh, this is the place where, uh, right. My bad. It's the Mother's Journal. We've been here before. You remember this spot. We had the unfortunate thing where I died, and so I lost this bit of progress. Should have saved right before then, but hey, we don't... If, if we're not revisiting the dialogue, there's not much till going on there. But I missed this, I believe. The bone charm. And this is the... So there's me bypassing the wall of light, basically. Not even really my priority right now. How do I get down to the bone charm? I guess I could just drop down. Oops. Aha! Oh! I'm trapped! Quiet. Let me out! Hell of a place to drop down to, huh? Hey, rats. Um. Hey. Probably gonna want to avoid that. Let's climb for a bit. Can't climb up there, though. Throw the body up there. Nope. Not quite. Eh, he's not. He's not in that range. Uh, so what's the deal with this? Oh, that's Galvani's office. That's the... It's one of the guys I'm supposed to rescue. Think I wake up? Alright. First person navigation. Don't always have a great idea of where you're going. That's how it goes. There's that guy down there. Okay. So I have now bypassed the wall of light. I don't think the game's in a big hurry to acknowledge that right now. There we go. I walked over here and now it's acknowledging that I've gone past the wall. Okay, so the office must be front-facing. There's a bone charm inside this building, so I want to find a door. Which is a little hard to do when I'm, when I'm on top of said building, because then I can't see the building itself. Let's try going on top of the wall. Why can't I walk over? There we go. 
No one's gonna look up here, right? Is there a front door? Just trying to figure out how to get inside this building. I see the bone charm. Is that a turret down there? What is that? Might just be a spotlight. Oh, that's his office. Where the hell is this bone charm then? Uh. It's not the. Maybe it's in the. I wonder if there's sewers. Let's go for the office for now. Do I even. Ha I don't have a map in this game, right? I already tried to find one. So without a map, it's not, not always easy to figure out. Alright. They're just, they're just vague waypoints that point in certain directions. The important thing is I know that there's something to find. I just need to figure out how the hell to navigate these areas. I can't tell if that's a building you can go inside or if it's like a, or if it's just a polygon shape and like not a, sh like, I can't tell if it's just a, one of those closed model buildings that are in video games or if it actually is a shell that you can go inside of. Well, let's go help out. Loading screens are so short, they actually catch me off guard. I'm like, oh, that's already time to press A. That was fast. Is there a single, is there a single collectible in here? Not really. All right. There's at least three guys down there. There's some rats wandering around. They have headlamps? Oh no, the vision cones, right. 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 You guys are not important, apparently. Are those just regular NPCs? Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Mayor's new elixir is twice as good again. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious clamor, more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. So he seems to be a guard. I think he just wasn't in an observant mood at the moment. I don't know, it's hard to tell if someone's a guard for sure. Or at least I don't know how to tell yet. So apparently this guy's one person that could be trying to save people from the plague, so it's obviously a good idea to get him free if we can. Let's double check real quick. Is this the guy I'm trying to free, or is this the other character? I think it is the one we're trying to free. Ca uh, Captain Kuro survives. High Overseer. Let's go ahead and press forward. Oh, big old groups of rats. Not a lot else going on. Are you the white rats we heard about? Look at these guys. Those are probably the white rats. What a sight. So in small groups, they're rather unfazed by me and not not in a big hurry to try to murder me. We have one guy upstairs. Is he coming back down? No? What is that, exactly? It's like a dinosaur ram. Huh? Must be rats. Keeping an eye out. Just trying to explore the area as best we can. Especially since we haven't been caught yet. This is our chance to keep to keep a look around. Dr. Galvani's journal. I've been invited to, to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the 7th month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. 
Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I'll be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of TV and red. So I don't think he's the character... let's see. I don't think Galvani's mentioned in these quests, right? Because we're going after Campbell. Looking for Emily. There's an option to keep Captain Kernow alive. I don't. I don't think that this character is really related. So I think he's probably he's probably another side quest character, just like the uh, like Granny Rags, or I'm or I'm forgetting names. My uh, recordings have been a little more fragmented so far of this game than I wanted them to be. I'm getting ready to actually binge play for several hours and be more immersed into the whole thing, but I'm having a little trouble with names, which happens sometimes. And so they threw a bunch of names at me and then threw me into a mission. I'm like, ah, uh, was that the name that they? Crap. <laughs> Have I heard? Have I heard Galvan have? Have I, have I heard of of this character before? Was this the one? It happens. Oh, this is a fun little trick to have. Oh, he's looking like straight at me, but he's not very observant. It's fine. There we go. No one has to know. Y'all good? There we go. I, I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I shit, bring food. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, no. No, you saw... No, no, no. You didn't see anything. Ah, crap. Alright. I, I tried. Cleaning instructions. Dear Miss Benton, when cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Re re uh, regards, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week pay as well. The, the, bank, of cl uh, the bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count... On me for the remainder of the week, of course. Oh. None of the things that just happened were things I was trying to make happen. Broke the window. There's just rad viscera over there, that's what they're gonna call it. Maybe they won't come in the lab because it's horrible. I'm supposed to be... There's supposed to be some level of danger for me even being here in the first place. Teacup? Ew. Did they come in here? I don't think they did. Alright. Aha! Lab key. The same one. Used to be, you'd go out with a bag, a stick with a nail on the end, and catch as many rats as you could at, n at night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband, B Benjamin, and I mostly worked alone, and we got by. If we found a place where the rats were real bad, somewhere we'd hide a crew of... Uh, sometimes we'd hide a cr hire a crew of street brats to hi work with us, the younger ones who didn't make, uh, make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, you'd turn. You'd turn, and uh, they'd turn, and the swarm would come back to you, at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times down the sewers. The bites hurt afterwards, but it was the sound they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous, and the city watch uh, started paying better. But that didn't last long, because after a while, too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. One slip, and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. So are they going to come in here? I think we're in the clear. I might not have needed to knock that guy out. I think he was a guard, and that he would have gone after me if I saw me. He's wearing a uniform, that's all I have to go on, unless there's a way to specifically tell if somebody's hostile. 
I'm not entirely clear on this game's stealth system yet. Leviathan Sorrow, that's a chamber pot. Good old chamber pots. Welcome to the shitter. What is that? Oh, it's, it's the lines coming off the, uh, the heater. Alright, let's try the auto log. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. They think that they they think that the plague rats came from the outside, almost as if they're some kind of uh how'd the body get over there? It almost seems to suggest that they think that the that they uh were introduced to sabotage this this country or something. Nobody woke this guy up, he's just kind of in the corner here. It maybe be less likely to be spotted over there. Did not mean to break the window. Hey rats. Don't mind me. Some bombs. We need the building key for this guy. More rats. Go ahead and close up. I'll go ahead and do him the, the service of not dragging him into the dangerous lab. Galvani, the latest case should arrive within a week, containing all the components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. You can't, uh, can't have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you ha uh, you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes, not some dirty little secret room behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you, I have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember, it might be a month before I can get together another shipment. Yours, in knowledge, Artemis Moore, Procurement Clerk and Provisioner, Academy of Natural Philosophy, South Wing. P.S. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We've stayed fairly insulated from the plague since so few come and go for, uh, here, and we've got quite the stock of Tivian brandy. And I just stole that note, apparently. <laughs> Didn't just read it, but like, nope, that's mine now. Welcome to my inventory. Take that letter, that might be nice for the person it's going to to read. Alright, so let's try- this guy's trying to clear the, uh, cure the plague, but even though he's doing the most important work possible in trying to cure the thing that's killing everybody, he has to be in the middle of nowhere and do it in secret. Hell yeah. The lab only becomes more nightmarish as we continue, it would appear. 